Greetings everyone, it's Alexo again, and today is a little bit of a different topic, because who is actually, who claims the build? Who made the build if you run a build, or if you make it like I, a video about the build? And it came because of this, I was posting this one, it's just stupid, I'm just gonna just turn myself down here, this is the insane marksman, detonating arrow marksman build currently, right, which is absolutely insane, and it is broken, and it is bugged, I even mentioned it, doesn't matter, I was playing this, was having fun with it, posting it here, and then I said it's Rexenterex detonating marksman build because this is where I got it from, right? Then someone in the comments said, this is not Rex build, give a little credit to Majestic and the heaps of videos he and friends have dedicated to this and pushing 3000 plus corruption. Basically saying this wasn't done by Rex, it was done by Majestic and I was crediting the wrong person. Now, some of you might know, I started with started my streaming career, so to speak, with Marvel Snap, which is a card game, right? Like much like Hearthstone. And Hearthstone has the same issue. And anytime there is a game with builds, there is the same issue coming up. If you post a video or if you use any build, and you don't credit the right person who made the build. Now with Marvel Snap it's bullshit anyway because it's only 12 cards so anyone can pretty much figure out a build, right? It's not really that crazy. Now with this one, I think it's similar. Because, for example, we also have the Rare Flood right here, right? Our, our good Rare Flood, this great lad. If you get this item, this one item, which was announced bigly because the, the actor was part of it, right? You create a Rare Flood. And then you make a build out of it, which is insane. It's very easy to figure this build out, right? Very easy to figure that out. Now, for the rogue build, you have this item, right? Jackal's Blast Knife. It says, detonating arrow no longer requires a bow. Projectile has changed to melee attack, etc, etc. So the item itself tells you what the direction of the build is going to be. Now, of course, figuring out that you go for the explosive trap over here and get all the, the trap buffs with all the damage and the lighting damage. I don't think it's that big of a deal to figure that out, personally. If you spend enough time on the game and you know the mechanics to an extent, you will figure out a build for a knife or a specific item, whatever it is, eventually. It won't take you that long to figure that out, in my opinion. So, to me, it's always difficult to, to credit this properly. Because there will be a bunch of people who will figure this out. One might be the first one and then people usually claim it's their build. But I think this is kind of stupid. Because I think as soon as, soon as you put something out there online, it is no longer yours. I believe in that as well. Someone else has said it, some famous person. Because then you give it to the public domain, so to speak. And then they can play around with it. Now I understand why people want this. For example, if I make an insane build, I would want people to come to my channel because this gives me more eyeballs on my content. So it helps me to grow. I understand totally why people want this. But I don't think this is how life works. <laughs> it's virtually impossible for these builds to always credit the right person until you really have to do hours of research to figure out who did it the first and maybe there was someone else who was faster with it. We try, of course. I, for example, got this build from Rex. Um, he didn't even mention, I think, where he got it from. I just saw it on his stream, playing this build. And then I saw the build on Max Roll, right? Uh, I went to Max Roll. This is, for example, my Frost Lord. He posted the link to this. And I was like, okay, this build's cool. Let's do it. And then I made this video saying it's Drax's build. I didn't know, right? Am I the bad person for doing this? I don't know. I think people need to be need to relax a little about the builds. I understand. If you know who it actually made, you definitely want to credit him. I credited Rex. I could have just posted this build and said it's insane. I still did credit Rex on it. But I think this whole build credit topic is usually blown out of proportion. Now, this was just one comment, right? So it's not really blown out of proportion. But I think it's in or still necessary for the community to talk about this. Um, it happens in any big game or game that has builds. So it's not, it's not a new topic. But definitely a powerful one. Let me know what you think of it. Do you think coin creators should absolutely credit the right person every single time and do hours of research to figure out who it is and still might fuck it up? Or do you think it doesn't matter that much? You will figure out 
who it is anyway. Or you will figure out this build anyway over time, right? Because it's not that crazy. I mean, this one is even one of the crazier, one, crazier ones because you actually have to go into the traps and don't ever use the detonating arrow yourself. Sure, that's a bit of a gimmicky build. I get it. But eventually you would have, would have figured it out. So let me just know what you think of it. I think personally, that's my opinion, you try to credit it as good as you can. Good intentions are the pathway to hell, I know. You try your best from where you got it from. You can even say, I got this build from Rex Centrex, not that this Rex Centrex is built, for example. Just a little bit of different phrasing. I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments what you think of this whole topic. If it's even necessary to talk about it. What your experience with it has been with other content creators. I'm curious about it. Because I think it's usually a bit overblown. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I'll see you in the next video, of course.